Hello everyone, welcome back to Substar Kid and more of the journey down. Chapter 2, last episode, we met Mo and Vince. Two shady characters. Anyway, so I think what we gotta do is do this. Hey, find your own trash can. Yeah, this one's our favorite. You gotta respect that. And now... It's a barrel full of newspapers. Now we gotta get the matches. Oh, wait, we have the matches still. Let's fire this up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, that ain't so dumb. Oh, gosh, that feels good. I can feel my fingers again. Ah, nice going, kid. No problemo. Hey, Mo, how come we never thought of that? Ah, nice and warm. How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. How about those clothes? About those clothes. Yeah? Please, can I borrow some clothes? What do you say, Mo? The guy helped us with the fire. Sure, kid. We owe you one. See that big pile of crates? It's in there somewhere. A small wooden one. Not bad. Well, would you look at that? Looking sharp, kid. Looks like you're ready for the town. Thanks, fellas. Forget about it. We people getting in trouble with the law. We gotta stick together, you hear? How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. I gotta go. How's it going, fellas? Doing oh, great okay, now. So you can't talk to him individually. All right. Um, all right, uh, let's get going. Let me just adjust my mic a little. All right. I really like the music. It would look pretty good, too. It's a movie theater named Cinema Rex. It looks like it's closed right now, though. Maybe it opens later in the evening. Alright, what about up here? Can we go up here now? Hey, funky place. Can I come inside? You, inside Club Timber. I don't think so, kid. What's so special about Club Timber? What's so special about Club Timber? Club Timber is the classiest night spot in the whole city. We've got all of Port Archer's stars, champagne, and gold hold up in here. And if you think I'm letting your raggedy ass inside, you're thicker than you look. Can I use your telephone, please? Can I use your telephone, please? Get your own damn phone. This one is for club timber management only. Nice yes, lights you got there. Nice lights you got here. Keep your hands off the floodlights, kid, or I'm gonna break your fingers off. Let me in. You know, you street urchin got a lot of attitude for more than you're worth. And it's that kind of crap that gets your teeth knocked out. Now listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. We don't serve low lives like you in here. So why don't you just get to stepping and save yourself any further embarrassment? Bah, this place is too fancy for me anyways. Later. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like an electric junction box. Why are we doing this again? There's a couple of tick power cables in there. Damn. Ooh, I wonder what happens if we call that number. 634000. Let's try it. service I'd like to reserve a table I'd like to reserve a table I'm sorry sir but this is a members only club we don't take reservations and 
we don't accept any new members. Good night. Uh, damn. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh wait, that means that lady's a part of Club Temba. The door's locked and she's not opening. I guess I didn't make a good first impression. What about over here? What's over here? Up. All right. I'm pretty sure the jail is over that way. Hmm. That's just nonsense, Joe. I don't drink to escape my problems. I escape my problems to go drinking. Right, Gimbo? Hi, Captain. Whatever you say. What's up, sailors? Hey! Good to see you again! Hi. We thought Barlow had you locked up for good, Juana. Ha! Bad chance! This Rasta is way too clever for Babylon oppressors! Babylon oppressors. I really like that! <laughs> How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Feels good having solid ground under one's feet again. I can tell you that. Amen to that, mate. Oh, the mist scares the life out of me. Ah, I've seen jellyfish with more backbone than you lot. Look for Lena. I've seen her. I'm looking for Lena. Have you seen her? She your special lady? Well, Buana, I had to break it to you, man. But it seems like she and Police Chief Balo have got something special going on. What you talking about? I saw them both strolling to that big posh place on Main Street, Club Timber. She was clinging to him like she was hot struck, walking on sunshine. <laughs> Sounds to me like you've been played for a fool, son. But are you fellas talking about that tall, good looking lady from out of town who's just strolling down Main Street? If you don't mind me saying so, she's out of your league, sir. Besides, if she's clinging to Barlow, you're better off without her. That's the truth. You try and take something away from Barlow, Barlow takes something away from you in a very bad way. I'm not afraid of no police. I could shake them off once, I can shake them off again. I got to get into Club Temba. What do you guys know about Club Temba? What you guys know about Club Temba? You really want to get in there, huh? Well, you're going to have a hard time. You need to be filthy rich and well connected to get access to that joint. It's not for the people. That place is for the corrupt fat cats and untouchable high society. I'm pretty sure you can forget getting in there, Buona. You're a good man, Buona. The place is down with a decent folk. Tell me more about Police Chief Barlow. Tell me more about Police Chief Barlow. He's been in charge around here for what? About 20 years or so. Can't say I've got anything personal against him, but like all people with power, he tends to misuse it. He likes to crack down real hard on people he doesn't agree with. And he's certainly up to a whole lot more than just policing the city. Yes, I'm willing to bet he's tangled up in all sorts of shady doings. Police Chief Barlow is just as corrupt as the rest of the cream of the crop. I swear it, not a single honest man holds a seat of power God forsaken town. The weight of the burden always lies on us misters. Nice joint this. Nice joint this. You kidding me? This place is the cesspool at the end of the sewer. We all flow along the gutters of these streets, drip and drizzle in our own directions. But in the end, like the soggy pieces of street trash that we are, we end up here, wet, cold, torn apart, and stepped upon, face down in the mud. Man, that was beautiful. We should have that engraved and put on the wall. Yeah, I wish I was paying attention to it. I got distracted by something. Tell me about misters. Tell me about misters. 
We're the little folks. We're the ones who actually do the real work around here. We're just simple folk caught in the crossfire. We come here to get out of the rain and drink ourselves piss drunk before we head out. Come back, then do it all over again. Misters are the kind of people that wind up in a dump like this. People with money don't come here. People with connections don't come here. We're small people. The big shots in town, we're worth less than the blood-stained dirt under their boots. Bunch of corrupts. That's what they are. So when are you guys heading out? So when you guys heading back out? Well, we can't right now. Or we probably would. As long as the lighthouse is bust, we are stuck in port. And frankly, I'm not really in a hurry to get back out there. Sure, we gotta make a living. But a short break is well deserved. Ain't it, Gimbo? It sure is. That lighthouse can stay broken for all I care. Oh, stone the crows, mate. I'm starting to get fed up to the back teeth of catching eel. What happened to the what eel? Happens to the eel? Most of it sold off to upbound ships. Some stays down here for refining. You can make all sorts of stuff out of eel. Steaks, liquor, plastics, medicines. They're pretty strange creatures, come to think of it. You guys ever go to San Armando? You guys ever go to San Armando? Ah, oh, no way. We haven't got the right permits. And even if we did, the Beko can't handle the locks. She runs too deep. Well, I'd love to go someday, though. Get out of this bloody suit once and for all. What are the locks? What are the locks? Aye, the locks at Pango Kubwa. That lead up to St. Armando. You got special ships going through there. Eel trawlers can't go through them. They just aren't built for it. We're doomed to be stuck down here forever. Might as well just deal with it, I guess. See you guys later. See you guys later. All right, now what about you? Well, if it ain't a new guy in town. Welcome to our fine establishment, where the drinks are divine and the clientele <laughs> are a slice of heaven itself. Flattering, Arnie. Very flattering. Now, what can I get you, sir? I hope you're not looking for eel rinse. I'm all out. You've got my word, however. The moment the lighthouse starts again, I'll be out through that door in a split second to secure a couple of crates once the shipments start coming in. Any idea how I can get into Club Timber? Any idea how I could get into Club Timber? Listen, sir. All I do is pour them their drinks. I don't ever go up there. You pour their drinks? What do you think this here service shaft is for? They keep sending me orders, and I keep sending up drinks. Club Timber sits right on top of this joint. Now, I don't service all of Club Timber, mind you. Just the VIP lounge up top. Now, I'm not proud to be part of their business. <laughs> but a man's got to make a living, though. So the service shop leads right up to the VIP room. Uh-huh. Bingo. What do you know about Barlow? What do you know about Barlow? Ah, Barlow. I hear a lot of talk about him on both sides of the fence. A bartender gets to hear all sides of the story, you know? Law weighs down on that man more than most people think. He has made a lot of enemies in this town, I know that much. I'm used to hearing a lot about people's woes. I can tell you, many of those woes are about runnings with the law. And the law in this town is Barlow. Busy night? Busy night? Uh, afraid not, sir. Business has been real slow ever since last went out. Yeah, these fellas are the first customers I've had all day. All city's gone to a standstill with no misters in port. These parts of the city used to be a good racket this hour. It's a real drag seeing it all dead like this. What you got on tap? What you got on tap? Right now, I'm down at the lower end of nothing. Taps and shelves are all sucked clean. I normally carry the full range of Mr.'s poisons here, except mist fumes, of course. But without the shipments coming in, I've got nothing. Where are mist fumes? What's a mist fumes? That's some bad stuff, sir. It's a byproduct. It comes out of the distill and the field rinse. I tell you, you get all sorts of whack ball effects taking that stuff. We call them fume heads, them fellas who suck it down. Used to be a much bigger problem, though. Barlow cleaned up the worst of the fume head trash when he came into power. I want eel rings. I want eel rings. I'm sorry, sir. The 
it gone dry during the big blackout. Shipments aren't coming in the way it's supposed to, not the lighthouse is out. But once it starts working again, I'll run off and buy a whole new crate of it. You have my word, sir. You gotta hit the streets. I got to hit the streets. Give him hell, sir. I like this guy. Hey, can I play with the radio? Yeah, go ahead and change the station all you like. You know that there's an old Army Broadway radio. It can pick up all sorts of things. It's pretty good to have in handy when the coppers are around doing raids and such. Oh. Come on, it's gotta be something. You know, I've actually recently started listening to my local radio. Uh, listen, guys, if you have radios, listen to your local radio, or, you know, you can even get an app on your phone to listen to local radio. It's great, and I've actually learned a lot about where I live through local radio, and I've learned that, like, there is so much stuff going on in, like, like, in the place where I live, there's so much stuff going on that I would never have known if I wasn't listening to local radio. Also, my local radio holds, like, a bunch of contests where I can win, like, a bunch of free stuff, so, yeah. Go listen to your local radio. Be a part of your local community. Unless you live in, like, I don't know, Chicago or something. Then, or, like, or another, like, super big place where community is practically non-existent. Like, if you live in, like, a mega city, like, what, wait, what would be considered a mega city? I guess New York. New York is like a mega city. Tokyo, I guess, would also be considered a mega city. Yeah, if you live in places like that, like, maybe... I don't, know, I don't know how much community you can get. Well, I guess New York kind of has a community because it's broken up into a bunch of different neighborhoods, right? So, like, Brooklyn has its own community and the Bronx has its own community, I guess. Come on, give me something. Come on. Really? Nothing? Guess I'll just have to leave it on this. Until something else opens up. Almanac. Hey, it's a big chef see it's Armando! Yeah, it's an old, outdated owl man. People like to dream themselves away with pretty pictures, you know? It's been hanging there forever. You can have it if you want. Thanks, man. I love free stuff. Uh, it's a floor drain. Yeah, I've got to comply with the Port Archie Hygiene Directive. This eel rinse is considered hazardous waste. <laughs> Interesting. Time to be hanging around in the bar now. I've got to rescue Lena. Hey, can I use your elevator, please? I need it to get to Club Timber. <laughs> Sir, this is no elevator. Drinks going here, not people. Not even really pleasant people such as myself. Sorry, sir. As long as I'm here guarding this bar, this here food chaff is out of bounds. Okay. Hey, buddy, buddy. Shy little fella.
It's locked. I don't think I'm getting in that way. Okay. Why is way too thick? I need something to cut it with. That why is way too I need. Okay. Have I try I I, I went to lighthouse last episode, right? What came of it? It's an old lighthouse. Oh, I can go into it now. Oh, there's the bolt cutters we need. Pipes. Uh, who's there? Are you here to deliver the repairs? Sure, I got the stuff right sure, here. I got this stuff right here, man. Who oh, hot diggity! I can't wait to get old faithful spinning again. Hey, hey let's get to it. All right. Uh, get to what exactly? Why, to repair the lighthouse, of course. The old lantern is broken, and the doohickeys and the whatchamacallits are a mess. I got a pickaxe if that helps. What? So the spare part still hasn't arrived. Pollards! I've been expecting that shipment for more than a week now. Morton's my name. I'm the lighthouse keeper. I like Morton. The name's Buana. I'm new in town. <laughs> Ain't no mistaking that. Always glad to have visitors. Make yourself right at home, son. Let's talk to Morton. Nice place you got here. <laughs> Thanks, son. I try to keep her tidy. What can I do for you? What happened to the lighthouse? What happened to the lighthouse? Ten nights ago, there was a terrible, fierce thunderstorm, and it hit Port Artu with full force. I had to ward off flying roof tiles as I nailed the shutters to the windowsill. Trust me, son. I've seen storms that make your bones cringe and your heart cry. But this storm, it, this was something else. Then, suddenly, a flying vessel appeared from out of the storm, oh. and it made straight for the lighthouse. Even in the wind and darkness, there was no mistake in that airship. It was the Sisulus. The Sisulus? Aye. Before I knew it, the whole crew was inside the lighthouse wreaking havoc. They smashed the lantern up at the top of the tower and ripped out machine parts from the guts of the service room down here. Brought me to tears seeing old Faithful battered and broken like that. Sorry for your loss. Thank you, Buana. This old lighthouse is the closest to a family that I've got. Huh. Anyhow, old Faithful has been dark and still ever since. Need any help? Need any help? I've got to get these gears and thingamadoodles in order somehow. If only I had my old blueprints here, this would be a piece of crackers. This here Port Artu lighthouse is of a very special breed, you see. Specifically built for the harsh conditions of the never-ending mist. Okay. There's got to be information about it somewhere, but I'll be doodled if I know where to find it. Uh, know anything about Club Temba? Do you know anything about Club Temba? And a Temba club is where all the top players in the city go to mingle and share fancy cigars in the evenings. Mobsters, smugglers, coppers, bankers, and politicians. And they're all down there grease in their wallets. Club is down on Main Street, but don't get your hopes up, son. It's a members-only club, and you've got to push a lot of capital in this city to get invited. Hmm... What can you tell me about this Barlow guy? Can you tell me about this Barlow guy? Police Chief Barlow is the head of police here in Port Artu. Has been for a long time. And the city crime rate has gone up every year since he took over the department. Doesn't sound like a very good cop if you ask me. Hey, the worst kind there is. Everyone in the city knows that he trades justice like a potter trades... Uh, pots. And he's got a lot of powerful friends who like to keep it that way. They don't come much nastier than that. He's the one who got the whole department rotten with corruption. Hmm. What's the lighthouse good for anyway? What's the lighthouse good for anyways? Why, all of Port Artu depends on it. It's a proud job I've got. Misting would be impossible without it. And without misting, Port Artu is as doomed as an eel on the cutting board. Misting isn't all that it's good for either. 
Most trading we do with St. Armando is done by mist as well, through the locks at Pango Kubwa. They'd never find their way back without the lighthouse. Hmm. What's Pango Kubwa? What's Pango Kubwa? That's where the locks are, for traversing up and down from St. Armando. Anything that goes between the two has to cross Pango Kubwa. Unless you fly, of course. <laughs> but nobody's that mad. Of course, we used to have the trains as well. Uh, but the powers that be keep shutting them down for reasons best unasked about. And the ships are just about a person's only hope to get in and out of Port Artu these days. Without them, we'd be trapped like pudes in a bucket. <laughs> hmm. What's up with the trains? What's up with the trains? Oh, they're off limits to the public now, son. Only high government officials use them these days. Why they're requiring enforcing all these regulations and blocking everything off is a mystery to me, son. I figure the less I know about it, the better. What's being blocked off? What's being blocked off? Well, it's the dangles now. But Port Artu used to be an open port. People were coming and going as they pleased. By ship, plane, and train. Back then, you didn't need permits to travel up and down. A fellow was free to go exploring all they liked. It's like they're trying to hide something, don't you reckon? Hmm. Okay, see you later. Oh, well, thanks for the chat. Feel free to stay around for a while and warm yourself from the fire. Morton is, is like my favorite guy. Nothing but darkness out there. Aye, it gets a real bore, doesn't it? One day, I dream I'll lay my eyes on a real beauty out there. But for now, I guess darkness and the odd trawler is going to have to do. I also just like his face. Hey, it's a little miniature ship. How did you build all those tiny little details? Oh, that was easy. Rounding up the crew was the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> that there is a model of the old Mistraker. The Mistraker? Tis an old sailor's tale. The legend of the old Mistraker. She was a proud vessel. Could bend the mightiest eels to her will. The captain of the ship was as mad as they come. He was out to catch the biggest eels of them all. The Hungries. What happened to it? The Hungries tore the crew to shreds. And left nothing but a ghost ship drifting in the fog. Legend has it if you lay your eyes on the Mistraker, don't let her out of your sights. The moment you turn your back on her, she'll be gone. And your life with it. And their model is supposed to bring me luck. But it sure hasn't paid off so far. <laughs> you can have it if you want it. It will make a nice souvenir. Wow, really? Nice. Coolness. It's a teapot. I like to keep the kettle warm in case of visitors. It's me own eel bladder brew. Fancy a cup? It'll put some hair on your toes, it will. <laughs> uh, maybe later. It's a pair of bolt cutters. I bet I could have a lot of fun with those. Go ahead and grab them, son. They're useless to me. My toenails are big. But not that big. <laughs> I love more than... Thanks, man. It's no use, Buana. We'll need to find me old blueprints to get the machine back to life. I have an idea about that. It's an almanac with pictures from St. Armando. Man, these pictures really glorify the place. Man, that's not gonna work. Ah, all right. Well, I thought. Man, this lamp is smashed beyond repair. I gotta find a replacement. Kind of music do we have up here? 
I've got them. They're here on Main Street at Loco Lonnie's Used Mattress Kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer stands. It's a bargain. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at Loco Lonnie's Used Mattress Kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. Okay, we're probably going to have to use that one for something. Hey, it's the title music. All right, what's this last one? Ooh. Man, the music in this game is great. I still can't believe this came out in like 2010. And this reel is all rusty. It's a bit used up if it's ever gonna work again. Alright, well, let's go mess with stuff. Alright, well, I think that's gonna. Alright, let's see. So we got some fancy digs. Saw the sailors, saw the lighthouse. I think that's going to be it for this episode. In next episode, we're going to cut the power to uh, Temba. So, thank you all so much for watching. As always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.